Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to release an album or a single on cdbaby.com Usually I use CD Baby for my releases because they don't charge uh, annual dues they just charge one time fees and they take a cut of your sales and TuneCore for example they charge yearly but they don't really charge you commission so if you sell more music like a lot a lot of music it's probably worth with TuneCore but in my case it's CD Baby so um, first of all you need a CD Baby artist account if you don't have one create one uh, don't confuse that with a regular listeners account those are two different things so make sure you have a CD Baby artist account once you create or log in into your artist account in the upper left you'll be in dashboard you're gonna select add new title um, you can select album or single song obviously album multiple songs single is just one song in this case I'm releasing a single uh, then you select pricing options here uh, the difference between pro publishing and standard publishing is that pro publishing they also register your songs with uh, like performance organizations like um, like ASCAP and so forth they basically collect your songwriters cut of royalties etc etc things that like a publisher would collect publishing agency society like ASCAP or BMI for example as well as uh, like sound exchange so you want those collected and you don't want to do it on your own then you can select pro publishing but in my case I'm gonna select standard because I have those separate accounts with ASCAP and a sound exchange as well as TuneCore publishing uh, account so that's why I don't need the pro account because I'm already doing it on my own the reason I'm doing it on my own is because I get more money back because uh, Tune or CD Baby takes a cut of your uh, whatever is left over from your sales they take a cut on top of that so I'm gonna select standard okay pretty easy here uh, select language English artist name in my case it's going to be lion eye so lion and then dash I and that's the primary artist so there's only one artist if you have more than one artist then you would add other artists other options is featuring or producer or remixer if you have more than one people I do all my self-production myself so I don't, I'm the only one single title is gonna be Lion uh, release date oh that's a good one uh, we'll look at that I usually like to uh, do my releases aligned with uh, planetary constellations I know it sounds crazy but that's just my preference uh, you can put any release it can be even today but usually people put it in the future sometime in the future that way they can promote it a little bit and by the way it takes time uh, from like today until it's actually officially on like iTunes Amazon etc takes time for CD baby to deliver all that you still have to confirm it so allow yourself at least a week from the day that you actually uh, submit your single or album on CD baby um, until that you until the time that you actually will see it on those music services like iTunes and you know uh, Amazon Spotify etc uh, record label if you don't have one you can leave it blank in my case it's just gonna be artist name because I'm just doing my own thing copyright owner same thing uh, leave blank if the same as artist name and your artist name will basically be filled in automatically in these fields um, so the date I haven't decided yet I'm, I'm gonna do that later so save uh, oh uh, this one barcode so CD Baby basically charges you about $10 per barcode, which is pretty expensive. Uh, you don't have to do that if you have already your own barcode. For years, I've been buying it from them until I was like, why am I paying so much for barcodes from them when I can just buy a bunch of barcodes for like a dollar a piece um, from a different website that specializes in barcodes and just use those barcodes here. So, and that's what I did. I just bought like... 10 barcodes at about $1.50 a piece instead of $10 that CD Baby uh, charges you and basically I will be uh, using that and transfer it in here okay so we're just gonna uh, save and continue I'm gonna put the barcode later on that I have because it's on the other computer full legal name 
So I'll read the agreement, make sure it's fine with you, the terms of service, it's pretty standard. Parental advisories over here, chat details, mine is not. It's pretty basic language of lyrics, English. Is this track light version? No, it's not. It was recorded in the home studio on composition type. It's an original composition. It's not a cover. It's not in public domain. Public domain is songs that have been created by society or have been released to society without copyright. Uh, so anybody can use it. So mine is original and um, there's no samples and it's not a derivative. Songwriter Bank. So this is where the songwriters come in. So who wrote the lyrics? This will be your legal name of the songwriter. If there's multiple ones, you can add multiple songwriters. Uh, in my case, everything is kosher. It's already there. Uh, save and continue. Um, please select songwriter and pop on. Okay, add to this track, yeah. So, yeah, so add to this track. What did uh, the songwriter contribute? He contributed music and lyrics since I self-produced the whole thing. Does uh, the song um, have publishing? Publisher for Lion, yes, I have a publisher name. What is name the name of the publisher? So publisher is not the same as the publishing society. So publisher is who's registered with the royalty songwriter collection society like ASCAP or BMI. So over here, you're not putting ASCAP or BMI, etc. You're gonna put the actual publisher that you're registered. In my case, it's Pyramidion. Pyramidion. Make sure the spelling is correct. And then save and continue, Pyramidion. Okay, so and then here it just asks on CD Baby if you want people to preview clip or full track. I just want a clip because people can rip off full tracks and what's the point of previewing the full track if you're trying to have people stream them because this doesn't count towards stream so it's just a clip in my case. Um, okay, short song description. You can just fill out like a one sentence short description of the song without using the actual song name. Just to describe the song, I'm gonna do that later. And this is single notes. This is not displayed on the uh, releases anywhere. Like it's not displayed on iTunes, etc. This is more like for the CD, pay, uh, CD Baby page that will be created automatically once uh, your single or album is released. So this stuff is not that important, but I usually like to put some stuff in there. Either way, I'm um, gonna do that later. Okay, genres, well, you have three categories here. Genre number one, please choose a style. In my case, it's gonna be reggae, and then they ask you for a subgenre. Subgenre is gonna be like a roots reggae. And then genre two, please select, well, it's gonna be still uh, reggae. And then the subgenre is gonna be dub. And then album mood style, well, this doesn't really matter much um, unless, you know, it's for CD Baby purposes, like how people discover on CD Baby, which is not that many people in my case. Uh, so genre is gonna be, uh, this is the hard part. It's not that important actually, but I just like to choose something. I'll just put, um, I don't know, intellectual. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. Uh, experimental, political, lyrical, tributes, vocal, background. I'll just put, where's the intellectual? I'll just put intellectual, I don't know, whatever. Location, well, this is where this was released, or you can put any kind of location, it's basically where um, what CD Baby is going to display on their site as far as location, like people discovering you on CD Baby in particular. In my case, it's going to be, it's not Haiti, but it's Hawaii. Um, let's see, United States, my goodness, Washington, D.C. Where's Hawaii? Okay, here we go. Hawaii. Uh, or should I put Jamaica? Maybe I should put Jamaica. I don't know, I kind of associate with Jamaica even more. Jamaica, Jamaica. So like I said, it can be anything you want. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, Jamaica. How come Japan is all capital letters and Jamaica is not? Anyway, um, famous artist. This is what you sound like, what you think you sound like, your song sounds like. Famous artist that you had in mind. So in my case, it's Bob Marley. And again, this is just for CD Baby um, to CD Baby users, listeners to discover browsing by artists or, you know, kind of just to get an understanding of what your song so sounds like. So it's not that important and it's, um, it's optional, but I like to fill it out. Anyway, second famous artist, Steel Pulse. Steel Pulse. And um, I don't know, um, maybe Black of World. Michael Rose. Black. Uhuru. Black Uhuru. Okay, so there we go. Save and continue. All right, pricing. This is CD Baby pricing. I usually just leave it at 99 cents by default. Save and continue. They take about a 10% cut on CD Baby, but not much sales on CD Baby, honestly. It's, so it's not even that much relevant. So ISRC codes, these are special codes for each song for catalog purposes. Um, they don't charge you extra for it. And so if you have your own, you can use that, but I usually never have my own. So I always put, I need to assign an ISRC. Again, this is free of charge. So they will take care of that. This is important. This is where you want your music to be um, available once it's being distributed. Uh, so it can be CD Baby only, which is not a good idea in my case because it's just not enough uh, placement. Download only, um, well, streaming is, it's all about streaming now. People generally don't download music as much as they used to, so it's downloads and streaming in my case. Do it all, even unpaid. Well, I worked really hard, put blood, sweat, and tears into my creation, so I don't do unpaid download and streaming services. And you can select which ones here, or you can unselect which ones you don't want. Partner, artist, ideas, it's only two partner sites, which is iTunes and Spotify. It's basically a number for your artist, so if you have other releases by the same artist, that way they can connect it all and make sure that your release, your new release appears with the other releases under the same artist that you have created. So, um, in my case, it's already automatic because I've created other releases, so... Uh, you can always double check by clicking on it, making sure that it opens the right artist. In my case, it's good. There's a check mark here. Continue. It's territory restrictions. Well, there's no restrictions in my case. This last option here, sync YouTube, Facebook, and dub set licensing. I usually um, opt in for all of them. Uh, so if somebody using your tracks on YouTube, you get paid for those. Agree. Um, Facebook is a new one in this regard. So, check, I agree here, save and continue, continue, 30 days. So, cover art, uh, make sure everything matches the cover art, JPEG has to be pretty big, uh, at least 1400 pixels by 1400 pixels square. Um, let's upload it in JPEG format, this one's already done uploading it and read all the rules for the artist cannot have website names and stuff like that um, so it looks pretty good um, so the wording must match the title and the artist name so everything looks good again no websites or any other kind of unrelated stuff so save and continue and then you will upload a file so here it tells you uh, it has to be a wave or flag format 44.1 kilohertz sample rate 16 bit so that's important um, do not you can upload mp3s but it's not recommended because mp3s are lower qualities than the WAV format so let's upload the WAV file that's already here and just gonna can I drop it in here yep so I just dragged and drop my WAV file and it's uploading so it's a pretty big file you can see it's a 46 megabytes for a music track so it speaks of quality okay so once you go through um, everything it will take you to title overview just to make sure that um, everything is good so you want to 
go through this you know that's all the things that you've filled out um, in my case uh, and the last thing you're gonna do is pay so and then it's gonna submit it and then it's gonna send you an email to reconfirm we're gonna add to cart is your title ready for distribution uh, yes it's ready because we just reviewed download cards I don't need so no thanks okay so this is the cart 995 for distribution of the single I don't have any coupons and uh, let's check out uh, okay and we're just gonna just gonna pay and then place your order and that's gonna be the final uh, pretty much the final thing as far as this is concerned then in a few days after this the city baby is gonna send you an email to make sure that uh, everything is good they're gonna they're gonna make sure everything is good and then they're gonna ask you to reconfirm everything and once you reconfirm everything they will start uh, submitting to the partners like iTunes Amazon Spotify etc and then at that point uh, you cannot make any changes and if you have to make changes you have to do everything from the beginning so make sure that you know once you confirm uh, with CD baby that everything is good to go everything it really is good to go and um, well that's how you release an album or a single on CD baby uh, thanks for tuning in 432 Hertz music channel until next time